like somebody threw up on it. <laughs> well, thanks. It's always nice to get an honest opinion. I'm sorry. Maybe if I take another look. <laughs> no, if I was right the first time. Yeah, my art teacher didn't appreciate it either. He gave me... Are you ready for this? A C! <laughs> Christy, it's just one assignment in one class. You don't understand. It's the first C in the history of my family. What if this C is just the first of many? How will I face my parents? I'm gonna have to sit at the dumb table at Thanksgiving. <gasps> oh, Cousin Earl's gonna be pulling quarters out of my ears all night. <laughs> oh, too bad you didn't paint some of that imagination on the canvas. <laughs> Come on, pull harder. Like you're opening up a bag of chips. Okay, I'll bite. What are you doing? Well, Rico has a stupid idea it's gonna make him taller. <laughs> Just stupid enough to help him with it. You won't be laughing when I'm six foot eight and pulling a Shaq Daddy in your face. You wouldn't be six foot eight standing on top of Shaq Daddy's shoulders. Less talking, more pulling. You guys, get over here. That's good. The lump on my head, it'll add a few inches. What's up? Thursday's game against Lennox? I just found out one of their players is HIV positive. You mean he's got AIDS? Look, HIV doesn't mean you have AIDS, okay? It just means you can get it. Oh, how horrible, that poor guy. So does that mean they're gonna cancel the game? Well, I think they have to, don't they? Yeah, I'm not playing against the guy with AIDS. I told you, it's not AIDS, it's HIV, it's different. I don't care what you call it. A lot of people die from it. And I don't want it. So you've got a choice, to play or not to play. Now I know this AIDS thing has us all spooked, but I want you to make up your minds based on the facts. Coach, the facts are you catch it, you die. Not always. Look at Magic Johnson. He's been HIV positive for years and he's still going strong. Yeah, and he even played in the NBA with it. But a lot of players didn't want to play against him. What was that about? Back then people were worried about getting HIV or AIDS from close contact. But now we know it's not like a cold where you catch it if someone sneezes on you. The chances of getting it playing basketball are pretty slim. How slim is pretty slim? As far as I know, nobody's gotten age from playing in a basketball game. As far as you know? I want a slimmer slim than that. Look, I'm not going to tell anybody what to do. You're all mature enough to make your own choices. Give me that thing, man! Give it back! It's don't, mine! Don't, 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 you guys quit it? It's mine! Now it's mine. So, what's it gonna be? Play or cancel? Can I talk, coach? Good luck. <laughs> Look, I know this guy from Lennox. And just because he's got HIV, it doesn't mean he's not a good guy or he doesn't have feelings. I mean, he's having a hard enough time without teams from every school district canceling on him. Okay, anybody else? You two knuckleheads have anything to add? I'm good. In that case, all in favor of playing, raise your hands. All right, I'll call their coach and tell them that we're going to cancel. if Mona Lisa walked up and smacked him on the head. Hey, what do you think? Tell me the truth. The truth? You can't handle the truth. Hey, it's just a C. Get over it. I was over that one, and then I handed in this painting, and he gave me a D. <gasps> oh, no, it's starting. When I get mad, I hiccup. You. You're a mess. And stop biting your nails. I can't help it. I'm so angry. Oh, just do what I do. Buy some press-on nails and eat them right out of the box. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to explode. <gasps> oh. mm. Wait a minute. In psychology class, we learned about anger management. Does everything have to be about you? <laughs> I'm trying to help you handle your anger. One way is writing the meanest letter you can to that unfair...
poo-poo head of a teacher. <laughs> you put it in an envelope, you stamp it, address it, then burn it. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I'm gonna write the world's meanest, nastiest letter. You go, girl. Okay. <laughs> Dear Mr. Fields, what is this, a love letter? <laughs> you gotta be brutal. You gotta get in his face. And no dotting your eyes with little happy faces. <laughs> Start again. <gasps> there he is. Ooh, I could just shake my finger at him. <laughs> Do it on the paper. Ooh, I didn't know you knew that word. <laughs> Did you talk to your dad about me working at his car dealership yet? No. Why would I want to do that to my father? <laughs> Rico, what can you do anyway besides make pizza with your feet? I can butter toast with my nose. <laughs> I'm never eating at your house again. Hey, guys, what's up? What's up, man? This is Joe, an old friend. Hey, how you guys doing? We hung together when I went to Reggie Miller's basketball camp. Even after seeing him play, I'm still his friend. Oh, oh. You must have skills if you made it to Reggie's camp. Well, that and my dad works for the Pacers. Get out. Uh, can he score some tickets? Sure. He can even get you guys in the locker room to meet the team. Ooh. Joey, you're officially my new best friend. Have a point. <laughs> and maybe we could go to the game against the Sonics. Great. I mean, we've got nothing to do since they canceled the Lennox game. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, Joe plays for Lennox. Lennox? You must know that guy who's got AIDS. It's HIV and yeah. Sure, I know him. Really? Yeah, he's a great guy. Not bad looking either. He's me. Hey coach, can we talk to you for a minute? Do you have to? <laughs> well, yeah, that's kind of important. All right, let me just get this last loop. Coach, what are you doing up there? Isn't that Mary Beth's job? Not today. She's in a mood. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? Well, we've been thinking about the game against Lennox. Yeah, some of us decide we want to play after all. You have? What changed your mind? Well, we met Joe, the guy with HIV. And he's cool. After seeing him, we realized he's just a normal guy and there's nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, just like you said, the chances of us catching it from him are like zip. Well, he's right. If I thought it was dangerous, I wouldn't let you play. Uh, Coach, you got a loose thread there. Mm. <laughs> oh, jeez. My mother made this for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe if your mother used a fabric with a higher thread cap. <laughs> I have no idea where that came from. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you all changed your minds about playing Lennox. Well, we didn't all change our minds. I mean, I don't want to keep Joe from playing, but I'm the one who's got to guard him. It's going to be fine, Julie. Michael, you catch HIV from blood, right? And people are always getting scratched and cut in games. I can't help it. It freaks me out. Hey, if you're uncomfortable, that's your bottom line. You don't have to play. Thanks, coach. Well, I'll go call the Lennox coach and tell him the game's back on. Come on, guys, let's shoot around. Yeah. Come on, Julie, we really need you in this game. Look, I'm not stopping you guys from playing. But I can't help how I feel. Give me a break, okay? All right, I'm sorry. You gotta do what you gotta do. That's how you feel. I'll understand, okay? Thank you. And you've got so much hair sticking out of your ears, I bet you need a weed whacker just to get the Q-tip in. <laughs> 